Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and update Monta Vista on, on the fire and what we have going on uh, as far as evacuations, update on the fire, and uh, our temporary evacuation points, as well as uh, a resource order uh, to get more resources here to the area. Sounds great. Thank you, Chief. Sounds good. Okay. Canyon IC with an update. Fires are approximately 300 acres with a moderate rate of spread. It does have an east wind on it burning in brush, we do have a potential for a major fire. Approximately have 2,500 residents that will be affected. And when you're cleared a copy, I'll give you the evacuation orders and warnings, as well as the temporary evacuation points. Canyon IC from Monavis, I copy you have 300 acres and a moderate rate of spread with some east wind, with potential of a major incident. We also have approximately 2,500 residents that are affected, and I am cleared to copy evacuation orders. Monta Vista Canyon IC continuing with the evacuation orders. Grid section 6135, 6235, 6234, 6236, 6136, and 6336. And that's for an order. For the warnings, I have map, grade, map grid section 6233, 6133, 6232, and 6132. From Monta Vista, I copy your evacuation orders as well as your evacuation warnings. Monta Vista, additionally, temporary evacuation point will be Orange Glen High School for residents. And then for animals, it will be across the street from Valley Center Station 1 at Lilac Road and Valley Center Road. We additionally, have evacuation orders working through San Diego Sheriff's for grid section 6135, 6235. 6234, 6236, 6136, 6336. How do you copy? Canyon XC from Monta Vista. I copy 300 acre, acres in moderate rate of spread in easterly direction with potential major incident. And you have a, a approximately 2,500 residents that are potentially affected. Do you have evacuation orders? And I can copy that. Monta Vista Canyon IC continuing, we do have an evacuation order for map grid section 6233, 6133, 6232, 6132. And if you're clear to copy, I have a resource order. I'd like to place an order for five strike teams of type three engines, six crews, three chief officers, two type one air tankers, two type three multi-engine air tankers, two additional dozers, four water tenders. Additionally, the temporary evacuation point will be Orange Glen High School in the city of Escondido. Evacuation point for animals and large animals will be in the field across from Valley Center Station 1 at Lilac Road and Valley Center Road. With the resource order that I just placed for additional resources, uh, that it has a lot to do with the potential of the fire, what the fire is currently doing as far as acreage, where it's burning, uh, the type of wind and topography that it's burning in, uh, is how we determine uh, the amount of resources that we'll order. Uh, that was, we also have our initial attack, which are the initial resources that are dispatched to an incident uh, once that call comes in through 911. And then as an incident commander, we will order additional resources uh, based off of those things that I just mentioned. Our job and our mission is to keep fires at 10 acres or less. So we try to get as many resources on scene as quickly as possible. Also utilizing our mutual aid uh, agreements with other resources such as Valley Center Fire Protection District, the local tribal departments, and also our other local government agencies. Uh, and try to get as many resources on scene as quickly as we can, as well as uh, the amount of aircraft uh, to be able to handle these types of incidents. And also for the large animals in the field across the Valley Center.